Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and what I wanted to do with this video is give you guys my review, my thoughts, and my guide for the VMP submachine gun here in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now the VMP is a very strange weapon in this game. A lot of you guys may love or hate this weapon, but for me, my opinion has swapped on this weapon so many times. Going back to the beta, I loved it. I loved the VMP during the beta. It was a great weapon. I loved using it on the Xbox and the PlayStation. It was just great, right? I loved it. Then when the game first came out, I hated it for some reason. Just as everyone else seemed to love it it was like definitely widely overused when the game first came out but i couldn't use it i didn't like it i never did well with it it just is was didn't click with me i didn't like the gun whatsoever then a the couple of months passed you know after the game came out i started to like it a little bit more not so much though it's definitely on the bottom tier of my weapons like of course i have diamond submachine guns so obviously i did all the challenges for the vmp but i didn't enjoy doing them i didn't have fun playing with the vmp whatsoever until more recently like within the last month or so i've really started to like the vmp i really have so much so it's actually my number one weapon on my combat record now it's actually past the KM44 it's past the CUDA it's past all of them it's now my most used weapon in Black Ops 3 which is very odd because again I've said many times here on my channel even that I did not like the VMP for a couple months when Black Ops 3 was out and nothing really has changed about it that's the thing nothing has really changed about it I just continued to use it until something finally clicked with me to make me actually enjoy using this weapon a little bit more and I want to cover that here in this video so what is the VMP what makes this weapon unique what does it feel like so initially the VMP does feel like a super high fire rate submachine gun and it is if you actually look at its fire rate it's about the same fire rate as an mp7 about 900 rounds per minute which is actually amazing right it's a really high fire rate but to compensate for that they make it kick a lot right so it's like an mp7 but an mp7 actually has recoil like if you think of the mp7 from black ops 2 or from mind warfare 3 neither one of those weapons scream recoil to you do they well the vmp certainly does it definitely kicks a lot more which maybe is one of the reasons why i didn't like it as much because it had that crazy high fire rate but it also kicked a bunch and i just had trouble using it apparently i don't know no, I just didn't like it when the game first came out, but again, after months and months and months of using it and kind of forcing myself to figure out why it is everybody else loves using this gun, I think it's because it's a lot like the MP7, which is definitely one of the most popular weapons from Black Ops 2 and one of the most popular weapons, of course, from Modern Warfare 3. That weapon was borderline overpowered in Modern Warfare 3. It really was. So that's what the VMP is. It's this crazy high fire rate, actually really good damage. SMG with a 40 round magazine that just happens to kick a lot overall it's a very good gun and I have no idea why I didn't like using it over the course of the first few months of the Black Ops 3 life cycle because if you just look at it statistically and you just look at what traits this weapon has you got crazy high damage and you have a really good fire rate and you've got a big magazine I mean what more could you want out of a submachine gun right and so that's definitely why in my opinion a lot of people use this gun if you look at competitive Call of Duty which I have seen some competitive stuff here uh, for Black Ops 3 so far as you guys know I'm not the biggest competitive fan in the world but I have seen some things and you do see of course a lot of ma 7 right but you also see a lot of vmp it's just it's like the go-to smg it seems for the competitive scene and that's because it's very good it's very powerful what attachments what perks what do i recommend you guys use on this thing i've actually tried out everything i've tried out every single attachment here on the vmp because again for whatever reason the weapon didn't click with me everyone else seemed to be loving it and i could not find a combination of attachments or perks or anything that made me just enjoy using the smg until more recently so basically i just go with the very fast play style right i go with quick draw which a lot of people say quick draw on a submachine gun it's actually amazing having quick draw on a submachine gun actually helps out a lot along with stock right people don't think stock is on a submachine gun it's just something you don't think traditionally right if you think back to previous call of duty games you think of quick draw on stock as kind of an assault rifle kind of an attachment set or maybe light machine guns right you don't use that on submachine guns why would you need either one of those things but it actually makes the smg great then you throw in a grip on there to kind of compensate for some of the increased recoil that you have with the vmp and suddenly you have this weapon that is very fast it has some of the fastest handling attributes in the game as a result of being a submachine gun plus of course having the stock and the quick draw on there and then you have a weapon that has a crazy high fire rate really good damage giant magazine size so on and so forth it's suddenly like a god gun it feels like when you're playing especially if you're playing like on nuketown or if you're playing on some of the smaller maps like combine and stuff like if you're just going up against two or three people it's easy to take out two or three people with this thing it kills them so quickly once again giant magazine very good damage super high fire rate it's a very good smg overall in terms of perks i'm very boring when it comes to the perks right i'm flak jacket fast hands attack mask i have that on just about every single class but that's a product of the game modes that i play if you guys watch my channel or have watched my channel for a couple of years now what do i play right ground war domination kill confirmed i like the respawn game modes but if you're looking to play some other things like if you're looking to play search and destroy or you're looking to play free for all just run some of the perks that are kind of standard for those particular game modes right in search and destroy a lot of people run dead silence 
Pokemons. A lot of people run Awareness, maybe some Blast Suppressor, stuff like that. Run those perks. Swap out Tack Mask for those perks, of course, depending on the game of that you're playing. If you're playing Free For All, generally, a lot of people are going to run Dead Silence, maybe run Awareness and stuff like that in Free For All, because footsteps are definitely a big factor in that game mode. If so, swap it out. Maybe put a Silencer on here. Maybe put on Ghost. Do stuff like that. It just depends on what you want to run. But overall, just make sure you're trying to run something along the lines of Grip. You definitely want Grip. I think that's like mandatory across the board. I think if you talk to anybody about the VMP, they'll be like, yeah, Grip, totally. You need to use that. And then throw on Quick Draw if you would like. Throw on Adjustable Stock if you like. Those are the perks and attachments that I recommend. I just, I feel as though they're so good on this weapon. I feel as though when I'm running through people with this thing, it takes me back a little bit to an MP7, but at the same time, it also takes me back just a little bit. And this may be a bit of an odd comparison for some of you guys, but I feel like I'm using the Black Ops 1 FAMAS when I'm using the VMP because I can take people out at a pretty good range. You know, me, let's not say long range, obviously it's a submachine gun, but you know, up close to a good medium distance, I can take out people here with the VMP pretty well, right? And it kind of feels like that FAMAS feeling, whereas the FAMAS was an assault rifle in the original Black Ops. Of course, it was in a couple of other games, but it was an assault rifle for the most part in the original Black Ops, which was fully automatic, has super high fire rate, and it killed people very quickly, and it was like the go-to competitive gun. That's why it feels as though the VMP kind of is. That's why I kind of like using it, because it's very powerful, and it has a high fire rate, and then you take those two things together, it's like, how do you beat that, right? It's very good. In Call of Duty's past, what we would see in terms of like a balancing factor would be like a high damage, low fire rate, or high fire rate, low damage, like that kind of stuff, right? You think of the AK-47s of years past, that's a high damage, low fire rate assault rifle. Then you look at like the M4s of the past, that's a high fire rate, low damage assault rifle, right? You look at that, that's how they balance things. Then you look at like the FAMAS, or you look at the VMP here, it's high damage and high fire rate, and they kind of compensate it with the recoil, but a good player can compensate recoil, right? And so suddenly these weapons are just ridiculously powerful, and that's why I feel like when I'm actually using the VMP. In fact, I'm looking right now at the Call of Duty wiki, and who knows if this is entirely accurate, but it says that the Black Ops 1 FAMAS shot at 937 rounds per minute, and then you look at the VMP, which is just over 900 rounds per minute, it's like there's definitely a comparison to be made there, right? It's within 30 rounds per minute of each other, and so just after a while, after getting used to the weapon, I finally figured out how I like to use this weapon. I finally figured out a way to use it, and it sounds so odd, like, how do you not understand a weapon, or how do you not like a weapon if you already have gold for it, you have diamond submachine guns and whatnot, but it's really true. I think there's a lot of other people out there who say the same thing. I know uh, Drifter was saying on Twitter the one day that just, he doesn't like the VMP. It's just one of those weapons that he knows statistically that's a great weapon. He knows that it's a good gun in general, but it just, it doesn't click with him. He doesn't do well when he uses it, and I was definitely in the same boat. It's like, I don't know what it is about this weapon, but I can't use it. It's so odd, but over the course of like the past month or so, something about it just clicked with me in my head. Maybe it's because I found a, a proper combination of attachments and perks that just work for me. I don't know. Once again, grip, quick draw, and adjustable stock, but I love using this submachine gun. It's ridiculously fun. It's so fun that I actually got all the way up to the second prestige on the weapon. Like, it's completely maxed out now. Now I have really no reason to continue using it because there's no challenges left to do with the thing. I have it up to max prestige. It's the number one weapon on my combat record. I, of course, have all the challenges completed for it. It's just there's nothing left for me to do with the gun, yet I still want to continue using it because it's ridiculously powerful. It's ridiculously fun to use, and it's one of my favorite weapons to use right now in Black Ops 3. I know I say, like, my favorite weapon. It kind of swaps back and forth, right? But right now, the VMP is my favorite weapon. Like, I choose it over the KN-44, which was, like, my default go-to favorite weapon for a while there. And before that, it was the CUDA. So, it just, it's a good gun. I definitely recommend you guys using it if you guys haven't already. Although, I think a lot of you guys have because it's one of those popular weapons to use here in Black Ops 3, especially in the competitive sense. So, a lot of people like using it. But maybe, just maybe, my, my hope of this video, I suppose, is if you're one of those people that was like me, who just, for whatever reason, could not use this weapon because it just didn't click with them for whatever reason, my hope is you can watch this video, you can watch my gameplay, you can see the attachments I'm running, you can see the perks that I'm running, and you can think to yourself, yeah, I'm going to try that out, and maybe they'll work for you. Maybe you'll be able to figure it out, because the VMP is so ridiculously good. Once you get the hang of it, and like most weapons in Call of Duty, right, once you get used to it and you're comfortable with that weapon, you can do anything with this gun, man. You really can. You'll find that it's so ridiculously good in so many circumstances. Obviously, you're not going to be sniping people with it, although sometimes you're going to be sniping people with it. But for the most part, it's going to be very good up close. It's going to be very good all the way up to like a medium range, and you're just going to dominate people. And you can play very quickly with this weapon. You can jump around. You can really use core movement here in Black Ops 3 a lot to really use this weapon to its fullest potential, like you see me doing. And you'll find that it just it's so good, guys. The VMP is so ridiculously good. And quite honestly, 
I would not be surprised to see this weapon actually get nerfed in the near future because it is so ridiculously good. Because really, what's the point in a competitive sense anyway of using a different submachine gun when you have the VMP here, which seems to outclass every other SMG at just about everything. I think, of course, like the Razorback has like more range as like assault rifle style range. But you look at the VMP here, it's like, how do you beat this thing, man? Up close, medium range. Like if somebody is good using this gun, it's going to be pretty hard to take them out. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, and I've been having so much fun with the BMP here in Black Ops 3. So much so, that's my number one weapon on my combat record. And I should probably stop using it because I have a lot of other challenges I need to complete. Uh, I.e. Dark Matter. And this weapon is definitely getting in the way of that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude my little weapon review slash guide of the BMP submachine gun here in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on the weapon down there in the comment section below. As well as what attachments you guys like to run personally on the BMP. Now, I've actually asked you guys in the past, like, what do you guys run on this thing? Because I can't do well with it, you know? And everybody seems to come at it from a different angle. A lot of people come out with different ideas for attachments. Like, there's a lot of you guys that like to use silencers on this thing. There's a lot of you guys that like to use red dots or optical reticles on this thing, whereas I opt out for the iron sights now. There's a lot of different varying opinions on the BMP and the best way to run it. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the BMP and how you guys like to run it, and specifically what game modes you guys like to run it in. Because while I'm not a free-for-all search and destroy team deathmatch uplink style of a player, you know, I do play a lot of ground war. I do play a lot of dom and kill confirmed. And in respawn game modes, this weapon is ridiculous. Definitely top tier. So I'd love to know how you guys feel about the weapon especially in the certain game modes you guys like to play and how it kind of relates and how it kind of like works within that uh the meta i suppose speech individual game mode but ladies and gentlemen once again i hope you enjoyed the video please drop me a rating hope you guys all have a wonderful day